at what age do girls stop growing girls tend to have their final growth spurt between the ages of 10 and 14 most will have reached their adult height by the time they are 15 years old this final growth spurt describes the period of a girl's life when she enters the phase of sexual and physical development known as puberty everyone starts puberty at a different time and genetics largely determines growth patterns this means normal growth rates in humans occur within a range some facts on when girls stop growing girls usually start and finish puberty sooner than boys everyone hits puberty at a different time girls tend to reach their adult height by the age of 14 or 15 when does puberty start and finish in girls girls tend to experience a growth spurt that takes them to their adult height in their teens as they go through puberty puberty is the transition from childhood to adulthood it describes a series of changes people go through as their bodies start to increase the production of certain hormones in girls puberty tends to start between the ages of 10 and 14 the average age for girls to start puberty is about 11 but it is different for everyone for some puberty can start earlier or later and this is completely normal it tends to last until a person is around 16 in girls puberty before the age of 8 is a typical it is also considered a typical if a girl has not developed breasts by the time she is 13 or has not started her periods by the age of 16 these situations require medical attention for further evolution during puberty girls will experience an acceleration in growth and will begin to have periods known as minarchy some girls may experience intense sexual thoughts and feelings they may start getting jits and the hair on their legs may get darker the hormones associated with puberty may also make teenagers feel emotional or moody again this is perfectly normal when do girls stop growing in height the rate at which girls grow during puberty usually reaches its peak about two years after this transition period begins once girls start to menstruate they typically grow another three or four inches however this can vary girls who start their period at an earlier age can often expect to see more total inches of growth following the start of their period other factors that can have an impact on height include nutrition malnourished uh, child, uh, children are often shorter and smaller than expected during childhood but with proper nutrition may be able to catch up before adulthood hormonal Im imbalances low thyroid or growth hormone levels for example can lead to slower growth rates and shorter adult heights medications the use of some medicines can slow growth chronic illness long-term health conditions such as cystic fibrosis kidney disease and celiac disease can lead to a shorter than expected adult height children who have had cancer may also be shorter as adults genetic conditions children with down syndrome noonan syndrome and turner syndrome are expected to be shorter than their peers those with marfan syndrome tend to be taller because growth patterns are largely determined by genetics there is a lot of variabilities when it comes to normal height expectations for overall growth based on age come from studies of healthy populations of children the centers of centers for disease control and prevention cdc recommend the use of growth charts from the world health health organization who 
until h2 to guide expectations h after h2 the cdc growth charts are useful up through h19 when do girls breasts stop growing breast development or thylarchy is usually the first sign of puberty as a girl's body grows she will start to develop bumps under her nipple called breast buds as these buds grow they will form breasts made up of mammary glands and fatty tissues certain aspects of breast size are hereditary meaning it runs in the family breasts will vary in size depending on a woman's weight after puberty breast tissue continues to change and respond to hormones throughout a woman's life including during the menstrual cycle pregnancy breastfeeding and menopause a female's breast can start to develop from as young as 8 and can continue until the age of around 18 teenagers can sometimes feel self conscious about this element of growing up but it is normal to have one breast slightly bigger than the other have sore or tender breasts at times particularly around a period have bumps pimples or hair around the nipples can anything prevent or delay puberty a well balanced diet which gives growing teenagers all the nutrients they need and keeping physically active will support continued growth and proper development but pu- puberty and subsequent growth can be delayed for a variety of reasons constitutional delay or being a late bloomer describes a pattern of later development that runs in families and is nothing to worry about these teenagers will fully develop just later than their peers girls need a certain amount of body fat before their bodies start to grow start to go through puberty this means teenage females who do a lot of exercise may begin the process later children with long term conditions such as diabetes cystic fibrosis kidney disease or asthma may also experience delayed puberty this may be less likely if the condition is well controlled with limited complications problems with the pituitary or thyroid glands which produce the hormones the body needs to grow and develop can also delay puberty likewise the chromosome problems associated with some genetic conditions can interfere with the process being overweight can affect hormone levels and signal the start of puberty earlier than expected nutrition nutrition is important and some someone who is malnourished can develop later then their peers severe mal nutrition as a children can contribute to growth delays which can have ongoing effects if not corrected the world health organization describes impaired growth in children based on expected weight for height height for age and weight for age children suffering from poor nutrition repeated infection and inadequate psychosocial stimulation are most likely to have impaired growth in 2013 according to the world hunger education service over 200 million children under age 5 worldwide were significantly malnourished or undernourished leaving them at risk for delayed puberty as well as other developmental complications puberty and growth patterns are different for everyone if parents have concerns they can talk to a healthcare professional who may be able to order further tests a thorough physical exam and evaluation of eating habits blood tests to screen for medical conditions and x-rays that look at how the bones age and grow can be a good way to start